Hello and welcome back to my channel. Um, this is going to be the mid-month bonus reading for Father's Day. We did a similar thing um, back earlier on in the year for Mother's Day. Normally on my channel I do card readings but just because this is just a little bit of something extra um, I'm going to do a tea leaf reading a ribbon reading and a leaf reading so whichever one you feel drawn to um, please hang on and watch and um, I hope it resonates with you um, usually like I say I read cards so um, I go with my intuition and what I feel with whatever I read um, I do use my intuition so I've not you know studied books on um, tea leaf reading so what may mean something to one person obviously means something different to somebody else the same with colours everybody has their own interpretation so let's get on with the readings and let's start with the tea leaf reading okay so while I was looking at this and obviously the reason for these readings is um, you know like a Father's Day mid-month bonus um, when I looked at this down here I don't know if you can see it in here that it looks like lots of little love hearts and to me it looked like there isn't a lot of things in the past but there's lots of things to come here so I don't know whether this is for people who perhaps didn't always know their dad or hasn't always had a dad in their life but it's like there's somebody in their life now whether it is their real dad or, or a dad who's come in because it's almost like there isn't a lot there, lots of love but there's all of this to come so it's like there's so much more to come okay so for those sort of people who um you know perhaps this is somebody who's just become a dad um for the first time and there's you know a, a, just so much to come and lots and lots there to enjoy okay so like i say we've got lots of little love hearts down the bottom there so there's definitely um lots of love towards the thoughts of dad okay and for those of you who perhaps doesn't have dad in your life anymore if you know they've moved on again the love there um lots of love lots of thought um looking at some of these like i say there's love hats some of them almost look like like butterflies um so a very sort of a spiritual feel for me so probably lots of people watching this um also have dad in spirit who's picked the tea leaves and there's lots of thoughts and lots of love there um that's showing up in this reading um it just seems very sort of spiritual what i'm seeing in the bottom of the cup okay so, so for those of you like i say who's got someone coming into their life of that i feel like it's we've got this big i don't know if you can see it there big lump there of, of tea leaves it's like there's so much to come so much to cram in so much coming up there and possibly as well obviously a lot of you have not been seeing them lately with what's been going on so there's been this um, feeling that um, not seeing them a lot not around a lot um, this sort of bit of distance but obviously that will change this could be another indication of those who's for those people that have dad with them um you know there's more to, like i say a lot more to come and we're now coming out of lockdown so being able to get back to people again being able to spend time with them and enjoy that time but the thoughts have just obviously always been there as they would be Here we've got um, what brings my energy to that is um, sort of the outside. Um, we've got movement. We've got, um, I don't know, some of you who have um, dad who likes to make things, likes to build, likes, likes to create. There's a lot of sort of creativity here as well. So for those of you who've got um, a dad like that, I see creativity coming up. Um, and I want to say birds, so I don't know if that resonates with it, with anybody in particular. Um, to me, this just looks like birds. Um, so a link with birds there, definitely. Um, we've got a whole sort of group of tea leaves here. 
which all look like they have wings. Um, so we've got lots of like um, birds featured in there as well. So it's a very mixed um, bag in this cup today. But like I said, I don't read tea leaves much, so I'm just going with what I sense and what I feel. And it does definitely seem to be lots of uh, a mixture in there, but it's very, very sort of spirit like birds, butterflies, love hearts, <laughs> you know, they're the sort of things that I'm, I'm seeing at the moment. Okay. okay so that was a very uh, sort of mixed bag in there whoever picked the um, tea leaves I hope you enjoyed it and we're now going to move on to the ribbons okay and let's start with the ribbon reading just move that out of the way um, while I've been sitting here um, looking at the ribbons linking in with them seeing what I'm drawn to I'm straight away drawn to this yellow now I feel that yellow um, to me I wanted to go with communication um, so some of you um, have you been struggling to communicate with somebody um, have you been a little bit down about not being able to communicate so for me this yellow seems to be linked to um, communication okay whether some people have got confused as to what they can do can't do um, you know perhaps a little bit of concern like you know when we could meet people outside again they're sort of saying oh no I'm a bit concerned I'm a bit worried about doing that so there seems to be a little bit of confusion a little bit of 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 worry that's been but then I'm sort of drawn to this blue and I want to go with you know restaurants eating out meals the pub you know all those lovely socializing things that people like to do um, and not just as memories they're, they're coming up again we'll soon be able to do these things and that's certainly something that people are looking forward to and possibly even planning right now so you're possibly right now organizing right you know surely july time things will be able we'll be doing this we'll be doing that perhaps birthdays that's been missed or things that's been missed during the lockdown you're now starting to put in place again i'm drawn around here to this orange and this green the green the garden um so for some of you you've been out in the garden been able to get on um Or this is what you're you know you've been helping your dad with because like I say again these are sort of Father's Day um, readings but all the garden is memories for you for your dad so with the green I definitely want to be linking into the garden okay with the orange I do feel that I want to go with almost like a healing so I feel that there's been a bit of a um, don't necessarily want to say depression but obviously feeling down um not feeling the normal self so there's been some of this going on but um possibly even um ill health but i feel that healing's coming in now so i do feel that now is becoming a much more positive time it's become a time where you can plan again it's becoming a time where people can get outside and do things it's becoming a time when we can start trying to forget what's been going on lately and start enjoying things again the healing's coming in you know the, the, the sun is coming out this communication we've got um you know you can soon start having conversations with people um i mean some of you may have family abroad so you perhaps you can't necessarily go see them but obviously there's the the skype and everything like that but um generally i do feel um that people are overcoming anxieties and worries and negativity that there's been in the last sort of two or three months and starting to make plans and starting to get back again to how things um, used to be. Okay, I'm drawn to this white. Um, And what I want to think about is white feathers. Obviously, a lot of people say when they lose somebody in spirit, they see white feathers. And as soon as I see this white, I thought about white feathers. So I don't know if there's any of you watching this 
who's perhaps come across some white feathers lately perhaps you know you think it's bad and obviously this is a father's day reading is this little message that you know these feathers these feathers was me um but that's just sort of come in there as these white feathers so obviously um with the tea leaves it was a very very mixed bag this uh doesn't seem to be such a, a, a mixed reading but hopefully it resonates with quite a few of you so if you pick the ribbons reading I hope some of this has made sense to you um oh this pink's just jumped out at me now there's definitely some sort of celebration um that's happening later on in the year and um it's a time to celebrate it's a time for family to get together um it's time to start planning towards this uh this celebration and look being able to look forward to it I almost feel like perhaps some of the worries and concerns was whether or not this would happen um but i do feel like um i want to say august september time so for some of you there's something coming up august september time that you're really looking forward to okay so that's just jumped in there this uh celebration that's coming up so hope for those of you that picked the ribbons this has resonated with you and made sense and now i'll move on to the leaf reading okay so here we go with the leaf reading what i've done is i've drawn a very 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 basic person on the piece of paper so probably best don't even look at that it might hurt your eyes um and then i've just written some words like forwards backward thoughts give hope things that just came into my mind as I was doing this that I feel that the reading would be about and um, yeah so we'll pick up the leaves and see where they land oh right most of them here around um, the heart center but I'm also drawn to a lot of them falling this side which is which is back so for those of you who's picked this leaf reading are you doing a lot of looking back at the moment remembering things um rather than looking forward because we doesn't we don't have so many leaves that have fallen forward but when I say that you're looking back um I remember oh, I've got to sort of move the leaf to see what's underneath here I have got joy so even though you're looking back you're not looking back with any kind of regret you're not looking back um at the negative you are looking back at things that are positive um you're looking back at the good things um so it's memories it's nice memories and some of you are doing a lot of that we've got some leaves here um in the head so again representing the thoughts there a lot of leaves around the middle so um love there um so again when you're looking back there's a lot of love here to what you're looking back to um so for those of you that's picked this i hope this resonates with you that you're doing a lot of this thinking at the minute a lot of this looking back um like i say pos quite possibly memories but it seems all positive it seems we've got joy we've got love there okay um the only negative sort of thing that I felt on that side was take and we had a few leaves there so was there a situation in your past as well where you felt that somebody took from you um, so perhaps not overbalanced but you're not you're not really looking at that like I say I feel even though that's possibly something that happened in your past um, perhaps you lost something that um, you're looking back at but you are looking back at the good stuff which is, which is nice um you're not letting the um the negative consume you i don't believe okay um you are quite grounded we've got a few leaves falling down here at the bottom and the brown leaf as well um brown obviously ground grounding so i do feel you are quite a grounded person you you do um know when to um stop the negative thoughts like i say not let them run away with you we've got a couple of little leaves here um with the forward so um there is some things coming up for you um they're not green yet so they're still a little bit further in the distance they're they're not actually 
here yet they're still being created um but there is stuff coming up for you but at the minute you're focusing on um memories you're focusing on stuff in the past um things that are positive um there is a little bit of of something in the past where you feel that you've lost something something was taken from you but but you seem to have gotten over that now and um yeah it's love it's nice thoughts it's positive and that's what you choose to look at you're keeping yourself grounded and um whatever it is that's coming forward we've got this little leaf here that's landed by hope so there's something that um i believe you want and you're hoping for and um I'm hoping <laughs> that that is what is coming up for you in your future because we've definitely got something. So it all, it's almost like you're kind of manifesting now. You're looking back in the past at what you've lost. You're looking back, um, letting it go, letting, you know, the healing's coming in and you're letting that go. Now it's time to start to look forward, to hope for things, to sort of bring more things into your life which you want, things that um, are better for you and make you happy. Okay, so I hope this reading has all made sense to those that picked the leaf reading. And um, I hope you all have enjoyed watching uh, these bonus Midmont Father's Day readings. And I hope you all enjoy Father's Day, whether it's uh, looking back at memories or whether it's being able to spend time um, with your dad. And um, thank you for watching. And I will be posting the July readings um, at the end of June, beginning of July. Okay, thank you for watching.